Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lolita Loca, and this is Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars 26. That's right, folks. We are back for another week of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, where we go to war weekly over the hottest topics in cruising. Now, I know you're saying, well, we haven't seen you for three weeks. Let, let's just suspend it here, okay? Let's just let's just act like I was here because that's such a great tagline. Cruise Wars, where we go to war weekly over, Cruise the, Wars. over the hottest topics in cruising. And this week, we thought we would keep it simple. We thought that since we just got back from the Caribbean Princess, we would do a Caribbean Princess-themed Cruise Wars. What do you think, Jenny? Do you know a thing or two about the Caribbean Princess now? Cruise Wars! Cruise Wars, episode 26. <laughs> no bull tonight, gonna make it simple. We got three topics. We still have the 20-sided die. We are going to roll to let the fates determine uh, which side we're gonna argue on these arguments. But three topics, uh, let's just act like they came out of the bowl. Uh, we appreciate you working with us here on episode 26. Three topics coming out of the bowl. Uh, topic number one is, uh, should the crew serve you your drinks at the buffet or should it all be self-service? That's topic number one. Jenny, what is topic number two? Topic number two is towel animals or the nightly chocolates. Ooh, bed chocolates. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then our final topic, it's the one we've already covered in our comparison video, but now we're going to get to do it with a little more fun. We're going to get to do it with a little lose your mind fun. It is going to be carnival or princess cruise war style. People are going to lose their minds. <laughs> All right, Jenny, uh, w would you like to go first or you want me to go first this week? Um, you know what? You have been working so hard, you can go first. Oh, I, I get a little bonus star for our hard work. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. Topic number one, should the crew serve you drinks at the buffet or should you serve yourself? Let me roll the die to see which way I am arguing. I am arguing that you should serve yourself. Okay. All right, Jenny, do you need the handy-dandy Lolita Loca? We need the Lolita Loca official timer. timer. I am going to be arguing that you should that the crew should not serve you your drinks uh, at the buffet. All right, Tony, the one minute is on the clock. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, go. Of course uh, the crew should not serve you drinks at the buffet. The whole point of the buffet is to take yourself in there, load up 40 plates of food, go over to the table, and then go get yourself something to drink. If you want fancy service, go to the MDR. If you want fancy service, go to tea time. The buff You know what? I want to get up in the morning and go get something to eat. I don't need 18 people offering me a drink. Obviously, you know, there's no coordination, first of all. I got six different people asking me if I want a drink. I'm spending more time telling people that I already gave somebody else my drink order than actually enjoying my buffet. I appreciate the, the try to give me better service, but when you can't even get like three people to know who got drinks and who didn't get drinks, it's ridiculous. I just want to enjoy my watermelon. I just want to enjoy my chocolate donut covered with bacon. And I just want to go get my own glass of water. I don't need you judging me because I don't want your orange juice. Yeah, uh, would you like... It's ridiculous. Really? Alright, Jenny, should we move on to the next topic? No, I have to argue that. Okay. Uh, Jenny, you will be arguing why uh, you should not, why you should be lazy, I guess, and not get your own drinks. Uh, are you ready? I'm ready. One minute on the clock. You know how this works, right? I do. One minute on the clock. Your time's... Why did you put five minutes on the clock? I didn't put five minutes. One minute on the clock. Time starts now. Okay. So you wake up, you go down to the Lido for some breakfast. You know how nice it is? to just sit down with your food and someone come over and say, hey, would you like a cup of coffee? Hey, would you like something to drink? And guess what? If you're, if you want to go get your own, you can. But what they did was they would come over, they would ask you what you would want to drink. And you know what? You didn't have to stand in another line. It really made the whole buffet just not having to stay in line. And yeah, people are going to say, well, that's the experience of a buffet, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? It was nice. You go up, you get your food, you come back and your drink was there. It was awesome. And you know what? They want to help you. 
who wants to spend another half hour in line to just drink? And it's not, you don't, it's not dirty because the crew people, the crew is, are cleaning it. And you know what? Your time I'm is up, Jenny. Just give me my coffee. Your time is up. Your time is up. So are we going to do the rebuttal? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'll take all the time I can get. Go. Jenny, it, it's, so, it's such a tired argument. Oh, you're reducing the line by people not having to wait for their drinks. No, you know what? You're cluttering. You're, you're making... You know what? I would rather those folks be doing something else. I can go get my own glass of water. I can go get my own tea. And, and you can't get anything special. It's not like you're going to be like, oh, bring me some chocolate milk, and they're going to bring you some chocolate milk. I tried that. Oh, bring me some chocolate milk. Let me see your room card. It's another way for the cruise ship to nickel and dime me. They're waiting to sell me something. I just want to eat my breakfast. I don't need 10 people asking me if I want orange juice. Guess what? If I want orange juice, I will go get it. It's not like, you know, they're doing table side bananas foster where you need somebody. And then, and then on top of that, they're more concerned about my drink order than clearing away my dishes. How am I going to eat a uh, fourth, fifth, sixth plate if my pl if my little table is piled up with all the dishes? I think they put them there so you feel uncomfortable and so that you get out of the buffet quickly. I want a nice... That's it. Nickel Diamond running you out of the you buffet. You do not have any more time. Hashtag self-service. We're not going to sell this here. We're not. We're not. What do you think? How, what, what's the buffet experience you want where you go get all your food and all your drink? Or do you want it half uh, self-service, half you're somebody special getting served? Hoity-toity, hashtag snobbery in the buffet. Leave a comment below. Hashtag bring me my coffee. Hashtag <laughs> Team Tony. You know how it works. We've only been gone for two weeks. Hashtag Team Tony. Okay, let's move on. Topic number two, Jenny. Do you prefer the towel animal or the bed chocolates, the pillow chocolates, the chocolate they bring you uh, at night after they've made up your bed? It's your turn to roll the die, Dan. Okay. All right, so one to ten. You're going to am... be for the towel animal. Okay. And 11 through 20, you're going to be for the chocolates. Okay. I am 18. You are for <clears throat> the I wish chocolates. I was 18. <laughs> 18 would be wonderful, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't look a day over 18. Oh, how sweet. Too bad your argument's going to be that of a four-year-old. All right, Jenny. <laughs> are you ready? I'm, I'm be ready. In so much trouble. All right, one minute on the clock. Yeah. What happens in Cruise Wars stays in Cruise Wars. Jenny, all right, one minute on the clock. Time starts now. Okay. So how nice is it when you come in from a long day at port or just your ship day and your, your bed is drawn down and you have these little pieces of chocolate just saying, good night, I hope your day was lovely. It's just a really nice touch to the end of a wonderful day on the cruise. Besides, who needs a towel animal? I am not four years old. I don't really care for the towel animal. I have my own towels. I have nine other towels. I don't need another towel. I mean, you know, the, the crew is lear learning how to do origami with towels. I mean, like, I could learn that and make my own towel animals. I'd rather my chocolate. That's it. I'm done. I'll get back my four seconds. Who needs towel animals? Give me the chocolate. Hashtag, I want the chocolate. We rip apart the towel animals anyway. Your time is up, Jenny. Your time is up. Okay. I don't know how you're even going to say that you like the towel animals, but I'll give you a minute. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Go. Look, Jenny. Uh... Every cruise I go on, there's a line item on my bill that says gratuity. I am paying for service. And part of that service is the origami. It is the towel origami. Uh, yeah, look, 
Anybody can come in and do those things, straighten up your room, serve you dinner, but I am paying for the artistry of the animal. I'm paying for the artistry of the towel animal. Sometimes they put those little eyes on them and they're, they're so cute, they're on your bed like, look at me, I'm a little monkey, and they hang it up. Jenny, how could you not like that? You Look, I can go to the ice cream bar, get chocolate. I can go to the buffet, get chocolate. I can go to the MDR, get chocolate. I can go to your precious international cave and get chocolate. You know what? I can't get it any of those places. A folded towel animal with button eyes. I need a hippo. I need a rhino. I need a megalodon on my bed every night before I go to bed. I don't need chocolate <laughs> that's, that's going to melt. It's ridiculous. It's, um, Hashtag save done. the megalodon. I want my minute. Jenny, uh, I, I, I think uh, T. Pete is going to be calling you the towel people for ethical <laughs> treatment. Or the people for ethical treatment of towel animals. P-E-T-T-A. Pete! How dare you? The, the dot eyes you don't like? All right. Uh, are we done with this, sir? I guess you want your... You want to... I want my rebuttal. All right. One minute on the clock. One minute on the clock, please. Your time starts now. Okay. So listen. How much time does it take to make these towel animals? A long time. Mm. And you know what? Sometimes you don't even know what the towel animal is. <laughs> I mean, come on. The uninformed. You know? So basically, this is what I have to say. If you have time to make these towel animals, you have time to clean my room twice. Mm. That's it. I'm done. Hmm. You're yielding back your time? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Because just leave me the chocolates. And clean my room twice. Wow. Alright, well I don't know uh, if there's much else to be said there. Uh, you are allowed to yield back your time. And uh, I just... I, for one, I think I'm going to be sleeping with one eye open tonight. Because if you are willing to destroy a towel animal uh, that easily... I don't know if I feel safe. Oh, are you gonna leave that eye open for when I eat your chocolate? How dare you? Just saying. How dare <laughs> you? Look, we are not gonna settle this here. No, we're not. What do you guys think? Towel animal or chocolate? Leave a comment below. Uh, either way is right as long as you hashtag it Team Tony. Make sure you do that. It'll make you feel better. Uh, it actually Cruise wars. it actually increases uh, the vitamins that you have in your body when you do a hashtag Team Tony. I'm just trying to keep people healthy, Jenny. No. Next topic, the big one, the big topic that everybody likes to debate. Uh, everybody, you know, <laughs> to be honest, in the comments of uh, our comparison, everybody has been very cordial, but mm -hmm. you can tell people are on the edge. They're on the edge. They want to lose their mind. So let's lose our minds. So we'll lose our we'll lose our mind collectively <laughs> for you. All right, uh, my turn to roll the die. It is it, it is. is going to be uh, zero through ten. I am I'm preferring carnival. Uh, Eleven through twenty, I'm preferring princess. Okay. Seven. I am for carnival. All right, this one's easy. Let me know. Go. Of course it's carnival over Princess. Look, I'm still alive, right? I'm still breathing. Princess is full of old people. There's no party. There's no life. It's just, uh, it's like a ghost town. I, I was on the Caribbean Princess. I didn't see one person. I didn't see one person that was under the age of 97. I was like, the, I was like an embryo compared to the ages of all these people here. It was so boring. They didn't have any alcohol. They didn't have any music. There wasn't even any water surrounding the ship. They just pulled us around uh, 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 like a meet and three, uh, eat at three o'clock diner, uh, and that was our cruise. It was just old people, it was eating at two o'clock, and it was sleeping for 15 hours a day. On Carnival, I, I was walking around amidst uh, just naked revelers. People were having a party 24-7. It was the most exciting thing I've ever been on. If you go on Princess, you're just an old chump. Hashtag be younger than 97. Are you done? No, I got more. But I guess my time is up. Your time is up. I want my minute. Oh, you have some sort of counter for that? I do. You were on I a do. different cruise than I was? I guess. All right, Jenny. One minute on the clock. Yeah! Time starts now. 
Okay. So really, and in, in what you said in that minute, really made no sense, right? Because you didn't ever say anything that was great about Carnival. You just put the princess down. So for me, princess definitely beats out Carnival with their food, their service, the decor. But you know what? More than that, you could find a place to just chill and just enjoy your own vacation instead of having Somebody's there. instead of having to listen and to watch people drunk out of their mind falling in the pool just disgustingly dripping all over the buffets you know what you didn't see any of that on princess you know why because it was so laid back it was relaxing you're on vacation Boring. you're not at a frat party Boring. you're on vacation that's the bottom Snoozer. line. And you know what? If you're saying it's boring, obviously we weren't on the same cruise. Your time is up. You make your Jenny. own vacation. Your you make is, your own cruise. Your time is up. Whatever. Hashtag your time is and up. And I didn't interrupt you. Hashtag team Do you time. want your minute? I'm only going to give you a half a minute. No, I'll take my full minute. Well, then you need to go and I'll try not to interrupt you. Go. <laughs> So I didn't cruise say wars. how good Carnival was. Uh, I think that's mm -hmm. obvious. Uh, cruise director on Carnival, off the chain, bring in the fun. Uh, I didn't see one person get up on the bar and dance like I have on every uh, Carnival cruise. Fun ship, fun ship, fun ship. I had more fun. Uh, I've had more fun at like, uh, I, I don't know. I've had more fun at traffic school than I did on this lame-o princess. Nobody did anything. There wasn't anything going on. I don't even know how they could have charged me for a cruise. The only fun I had is when we went to like, uh, um, uh, like the ports and I got to hang out with people on the Carnival Magic. Come on. Uh, I need a party and, and I sure didn't find it on Princess. Carnival is great. They got everything you need. You know what? Uh, Guy's Burger. How about that? You want something? Blue Iguana. How about that? You want something? 24-hour uh, pizza. 24-hour ice cream. How about that? How about a shower? How about puke on your cheese? How about a shower and, That's it. and an entertainment venue That's it. my big You're butt done. could fit in? That's it. Hashtag You're done. Carnival is the fun ship. Hashtag I'm going That's enough. platinum selling You're rhymes. done. You don't get two minutes, you get one minute. You didn't tell me my time was up. I did. Nope. Yep. We'll look at the video. The proof is in the pudding, Look, baby. we are not going to settle this here. We are not. What do we you think? We are not going to settle like, it here. On this one, it's okay what you think. Let's not argue with each other over this. Uh, but uh, the thing you can comment is Team Tony will tell the whole story. Nope. <laughs> All right, Jenny, that's it. That is the debate section of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars! Cruise Wars 26. Now we're going to tell you folks how we actually feel. Question number one, uh, should the buffet be self-service only, even on drinks, or uh, are you okay with the crew bringing you over some orange juice? How do you really feel about it, Jen? Um, I tell you what, I enjoyed them bringing me a drink um, at the table. I really do think that it helped the lines in the buffet um, food and, and the drink self-service. Yeah, so me, I'm the opposite, uh, only because it was hit or miss. There would be mornings where five people would ask me if I'd want something to drink, and then there were mornings where people would look at me like I had two heads and never ask me that I wanted something to drink. So uh, after a couple of those experiences, I was pretty frustrated. I was like, oh, I wish it would have just been where I had to go get my drink every day. So. Well, I mean, you had that option. Yeah, but I didn't know that. Like, on, <laughs> I thought they were just bringing me drinks. Like, it took me a few days to realize that I could just go get my drink. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah, so it was a little frustrating for me. Okay. But, uh, so that was pretty close. Do to... you think it helped the lines, though? I probably did help the lines, mm -hmm. right? Like, uh, you didn't have people congregating, and, you know, there were just people up getting you drinks. So yeah, I agree. I, I wouldn't disagree with that. Okay. Uh, but those mornings that I waited a long time for something to drink, I was like, where, where do I go get the drink? What's going on? Where am I going to get the drink? Uh, all right. And number two, uh, towel, towel animals or pillow chocolate? Uh, I'm going to go with pillow, uh, the pillow chocolate yeah. just because, um, I mean, you know, the towel animals are cool and they're cute, but for me, you know. Yeah. I don't have, we don't have any small kids. It's yeah. you know. I know people love uh, towel animals, and I thought it was cool. Uh, but I would pick the chocolate. I don't know for some reason I liked. I didn't know what the chocolate was going to be each night, and it was a nice treat before I went to bed. 
but uh, obviously I'm not going to lose my mind over that. Ha- no. Happy with the chocolate, happy with the towel animals. Absolutely. I would pick the chocolate over the towel animals. Meal. Well. Uh, and finally, Carnival over Princess. Uh, we did a fairly extensive mm-hmm. uh, review on what we liked about Princess. Uh, we did a Carnival versus Princess uh, comparison, and I will leave all those links uh, in the description below. Uh, But but at the end of the day, our message is uh, the cool thing about cruising is, look, you paid your money, right? So you can choose how you want to cruise. You can choose where you want to cruise, what ship, all that. The the wonderful thing is uh, I can't tell you how to have your cruise vacation. You can't tell me how to have my cruise vacation. And every uh, line, and at least the two that we've experienced so far, has something to offer for everybody. Uh, So I would say... um, you know, do your research, but uh, just like most movies that people tell me are going to not be good or be good, I really find that uh, forming my own opinion is the way to go. Uh, so there's a few reviewers I trust. So uh, even even though, uh, you know, we try to show you as much as we can about a cruise ship, you're really not going to understand what the line is like or what the cruise line is or uh, what the ship is like until you go on it. So uh, I would say, uh, you know, uh, try out as much as you can, when you can, uh, or if you're happy to be part of the loyalty program, uh, stick with that. Uh, you Absolutely. Can't, can't go wrong either way, but just the main thing is just enjoy your vacation, enjoy your cruise. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's also like, you know, don't um, not try another cruise line. So, because a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about yeah. different cruise lines, you yeah. know, and you really don't know until you experience it yourself. And and that's it, too. That's another kind of message. Your cruise, no matter what line you're on, yeah. is really your experience and what you make out that's of it. That's what you make so. it, yeah. I hope we said it uh, that we had a blast on the Caribbean Princess and we've had a blast on all of our carnival cruises. And so uh, take from that what you will. Absolutely. Uh, I think it is like what you said. It's what you make it. Uh, and we, we had a blast. Uh, we do have more Caribbean Princess content coming out. So stay tuned to the channel. Uh, we were just itching to do a little uh, losing our mind. Cruise war. It, it helps us uh, get through the week, right? It does. But uh, hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Uh, we do four to five videos a week. We go live every Tuesday night. and if 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, and if you're subscribed with the notification bell on, you will get notified when we do that. And uh, come on over to Facebook to the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. It's where the Loca fam is. Uh, and there's so many cool people over there talking cruising and having a good healthy debate about a lot of these issues. So join us over there uh, again. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. See you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.